Have you ever wondered how the profits from the sale of an investment or property are taxed? Welcome to the intriguing world of capital gains. Capital gains, as some of you may know, are the profits that an investor realizes when they sell an asset for a price higher than the purchase price. Now these gains are not free from the clutches of taxation, and the type of capital gain determines the tax rate. But did you know there are different types of capital gains? Yes, indeed there are, and today we delve into this fascinating topic. First up, we have short-term capital gains. These gains arise from the sale of an asset that's held for less than a year. Imagine you buy a stock in January and sell it in November of the same year. The profit you make is a short-term capital gain. Now the interesting part here is, short-term capital gains are generally taxed at the same rate as your regular income. So the more you earn, the more you pay. Next, we have long-term capital gains. These are the gains you make from selling an asset that you've held for more than a year. Let's say you bought a house in 2021 and sold it in 2023. The profit you make is a long-term capital gain. The taxation on these gains is where it gets really interesting. Long-term capital gains are often taxed at a lower rate than short-term gains. The rationale behind this is to encourage long-term investments. So to sum it up, we have three types of capital gains. The short-term gains held for less than a year and taxed at the same rate as your regular income. The long-term gains held for more than a year and taxed at a lower rate to encourage long-term investments. And finally, the unrecaptured Section 1250 gain, specific to real estate, and taxed at a higher rate. Understanding these types of capital gains is crucial to making informed investment decisions and planning your taxes efficiently. So, the next time you plan to sell an asset, remember to consider the type of capital gain it will generate and how it will impact your tax liability. After all, knowledge is power, and in this case, it can also be profit. That's it for today's exploration of capital gains. Keep investing wisely, and until next time, stay curious.